Hi, and welcome to this video on how to select values from an enum. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I was just working on something for a, uh, for a project and ran into a, a classic situation where I had something where the user should select something that was actually in old days would be an option field. Now it's an enum. And I was just about to put up the, the good old string menu and say, here's your selection, select which one it should be. When I was thinking, but what if somebody else came in at some point and added a enum extension to this? Then my menu would actually break. Um, so that got me thinking, perhaps, perhaps we, need, I, I should add some sort of a, uh, generic select an uh, select an enum value, um, and that's what we are going to do in this video. Um, so let's find the good old Visual Studio Code I got right here. I have a new project started. I got my symbols and uh, have an empty page. So let's. Create a select page. Um, and I'll call this one fifty one. Select an enum. Um, clearly, the page type is a list, um, and the caption is select something. We'll get back to that. Um, users category is clearly none. So, if we have a list, then we need a source table and in, in Business Central, there's a great source table called Integer. And Integer is a virtual table. So, so in BC, we have three times, we're actually more, but, but three major table types. We have a normal table that sits in the database and, you know, GL entries and chart of account and customer and items and all that. Then we have temporary tables, meaning that a temporary version of the um, of the customer list and, but we also have virtual tables and virtual tables meaning that these are, are tables with data but the data is not sitting in the database and the integer table is one of those so it has all the records from minus uh, 2 billion to plus 2 billion um, so there are 4 billion records in this virtual table. And the great thing about it is that if we come into a situation where we need to show seven lines of something, I need to keep track, this is line number two, this is line number four and so on, that table is perfect for that. So so clearly that we, we need to use that. So let's create a layout um, and, whoa, typing gone wild area the content area and we want a repeater and we just call it rep like in all the other videos and let's add a field called the value and say that that should call a function called enum value and we'll just pass rec dot number so the only field that's in the integer uh, table is a field called number so we'll pass that I'll call the caption, we'll just call that for value. And we of course need the application area. Okay, so let's create that procedure. So, so I just basically just wrote an expression here. So now I need to create a procedure. I could also do, if you guys have seen this, I could use the um, create a procedure. Bam. There we go. It's created. That's from the AL code actions uh, extension. Um, and this one needs to return a text. Um, so how do we go about that? We need to access something. Um, so, so, so let's just for a moment backtrack. So, 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 so we, we, we need to set up this page. Clearly this page needs to know about what are we working at. 
So we'll I'll create a variable called um, ref. So a record ref because we're probably working on something, and then we I'll create one called field for field ref. So this is turning into a record ref uh, video, and I didn't even put it in the title. <laughs> um, so let's create a procedure called setup um set up page and we'll pass it a you know let's pass it a table number and a field number meaning that this is the one that we we want to do the lookup from um so we can do ref.open the table number and we can say field equal ref dot field field number. So now we have we have information on the table and we have information on the field um, because there is a secret trick in the uh, well, it's not really secret, but it's new at least in the field ref. So now I can go back up to the enum and I can say f dot and you see these new functions down here get enum uh oops hang on let's not count fields f dot get enum value name get enum value name from ordinal value and get enum value value ordinal um and we want the so so what we need let's just think about we need the name right um and we need the name from the actual value there is um but then we need the actual value so we can get that from so we we get the name get enum value name from ordinal value and then we get the ordinal value i think we can actually just use the get enum name get enum value name but now let's do the convoluted version just because we're here and and that's for number so now this should give us a list of uh, the um, of the options but there's not four billion options on every option so let's go down here and then say um, set range uh, uh, number so now we want to limit how many rows we're showing. So let's start with one to make it easy as the first value, even though, and this is this is where we, you, you need to be careful uh, when this, because the, uh, the index of an enum actually starts with one, not with zero here. Um, uh, when when we're asking for it so so we'll ask for a set of filters to and then there's an enum value count so we can get how many enums there are uh, so now we are limiting limiting our limiting limited i don't know how to say that word sorry uh, we are just only selecting the lines we need and then let's say, remember we i just said select and that's not really nice but we have another opportunity here to say cur page dot caption and then we can go at a label called select label uh, and we'll have select space uh, or we could select percentage one and then do no you know let's just keep it simple select space and then we'll do select label plus caption from the field so now we are changing the caption on the select page um, so let's try to implement this so, so let's actually create a new new file here test page al page 50 130 i think i set up in the launch json for us test enum select um and let's just you know le let's make this page <laughs> i'm going to show you something funky trigger on open page 
Um, so we need the new page. So let's call that for P page select an enum. Um, and I know we're going to use the value at some point because we're used. so so now we can say p set up page and let's take a good one so we so we need a, a, a enum with a with a bit of um some sauce in it uh so we'll, let's go check the base app um enum 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 let's find a good one I think this one report selection usage. Check this out. So so uh, so we got zero one two three four. We got the numbers all the way to fifty three. Then it jumps to eighty four. So so we are able to test whether we're just getting the index or we're actually getting the correct value. Um, I think that one is used in table. It's also 77, unless I can't remember my table numbers. Report selection. Yes, it's field number one here. So, so, so table 77, field one. Uh, then we need to set lookup mode to true, and we can do if p run modal equal action colon lookup OK, then begin, and we created a variable called n for the numeric value is p. And see, we're still missing one thing. So let's go back to the select for a second here. And and let's um, create another procedure called uh, get selected enum. And again, we basically just need to use the get enum value from ordinary, no, getting very ordinary. So, rack number, that's the selected one. That should do the trick. Uh, so, go back to this one. Get selected enum. And let's just, let's say that we want to try this more than once. So, let's do repeat around this one until four equals five, because that do take a while before that happens. Um, let's compile it. <laughs> it's compiled. Let's run it. Here goes nothing, guys. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Bam! Select usage. So we got the right caption. And we have all these crazy values. So let's start with a simple one. Sales order. Select that one. Okay, we got a compiler error here. Let's see what happens. This is a classic. So our code actually worked and you see we get the record is already open. So because I added that, uh, that loop here, I do need to do a clear on, on P, so because otherwise those global variables will stay. So let's try it again. Compiling. So it was actually the, the, the testing code that broke, not the real code, which is interesting. Uh, so we'll select sales order. Did I actually do anything with the N? I probably didn't. Let's, let's go back and say, hey, message. You selected percent one comma n. That'll probably help. So, so two box in the um, in the test code so far. That does not fare well on the. Okay, so I select sales order. You select one. Excellent. Let's go down and try one of the ones we know with a higher number. So we'll take the JQ. You select 87. 
So it seems to be working. Let's try another one. You select 10. Um, so that's pretty good. So, so what I can do now is that if I have somewhere where my clients need to select something that's part of my uh, part of my enum, I can just use this generic page and ma make them do the choice. And if somebody later on adds or just go in, if it's a colleague of mine, go in and adds an enum, then the selection will still work. If somebody else is adding a new extension that is has a dependency in mind and they add in a enum extension that choice will still be uh, be part of the dialogue so i think that's pretty cool um so th there you have it a small uh, small way to use record refs to actually get the options from an enum and create a ui around that uh, dynamically so if you like videos like this make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel because there are lots more coming um let me know in the comments below if you think my testing code is terrible and the fact I can create a page that only has an on-page trigger is strange. Um, then until next time, have a wonderful day.